I'm not gonna touch you. Okay, this was this is what 90 chickens look like eating. There they are. That's Mr. Rooster. He's a big boy. Okay, got the chickens done. Now I'm headed to switch the water over for the goats. So anyway, I'm gonna shut some water off over here. I've accidentally left it on several times. And when I did, we had a hundred dollar water bill. And I've done it a couple times. And it's nothing fun about it. Yeah, you, troublemaker. You is a troublemaker. Walmart, shoe show, Joann's, picked up some yarn, some sneakers, and a small heater for the bathroom. It's fun. I was out shopping, doing a little shopping today. January 1st, I can't believe the stores are open, but everybody's open. I just ran to Walmart to get a few things. Got a heater, small little heater for the bathroom. I picked up some yarn at Joann's to make some more hats. And what else did I get? I got a pair of sneakers. I'm going to a, going to a friend's house on Sunday and all my shoes are wrecked. When I was in the shoe store, the girl said to me, um, <laughs> that looks like snow. <laughs> and I was thinking, really? It's uh, 52 degrees outside. And uh, January 1st, haven't had any snow yet. And uh, the coldest it's been in the last two weeks was last night, which was like 38 degrees, maybe 32. There was a little frost outside. And um, it's been in the 70s, in the 60s and 70s. Now, unfortunately, it's been raining, a lot of rain. A lot of areas have flooded. In fact, uh, I'm going by the Greenway right now, I'll swing by there, see if I can capture a few pictures before the sun goes down. Yeah, I'm gonna turn here. I'm gonna run down to the Greenway. Let's see what the river looks like. Well, that's in the indication. That's not a pond. <laughs> it's a field. And there's probably 150 geese over there. And that's just a, a field for the uh, golf range here. Let's go see what the river looks like. The Catawba River Greenway. Let's go see what it looks like. Well, this is Judge's on the river. Nice little restaurant. Jane and I love eating here. Wedding stage. 
How much trouble do you think I'll get if I go through this? <laughs> oh yeah, it was flooding, but not bad. You can see right here where all the dirt is on the walking trail. So this wasn't really bad flooding. I think most of the rain happened here and went downstream. That's why the flood is bad, it's all downstream. Now this is pretty high. I mean, I've never been on this trail with the water this high. Ooh, this is awful muddy. I don't believe I'm walking on it. Scrumptious. <laughs> Beautiful. Be nice spot, little, little time lapse video, what do you think? And uh, let me head back to the car. Go home and dig into some of that really delicious dinner Jane's got in the crock pot. But boy, I'll tell you, there's mud all over my boots. Wow. Judges is, actually Judges is pretty busy. Considering it's New Year's Day, just nobody wants to cook. It's a busy holiday. Just want to go out and eat. So I'm uh, gonna head home and uh, do the same. Wake up, Jane. Uh, have a nice dinner and relax for the rest of New Year's Day and then tomorrow get back to the grind I'm headed home but I'm gonna make a pit stop before I do um, I read that the uh, Mega Millions jackpot is almost a half a billion dollars and I don't buy lottery tickets only because the chance of winning is next to nil, and I, I really just think that uh, it's just a lot of wasted money, you know? To give away a half a billion, how much have they taken in? How many people have spent a lot of money on it? But I am gonna play it, so I'm gonna get a couple of tickets, because just think about all the good you can do with that kind of money. Just think about all the great things that could be done with that kind of money. If it wasn't squandered or wasted on senseless things. And uh, would, it, would it change my life? Yeah. Would it make my life better? Yeah. But I would, um, I'm happy with what I have. You know, sure, I could always use some money. Especially when you have a financial problem, a burden. You know, like your car breaks or... Something breaks in your house, or you get a traffic ticket and you can't pay it, things like that. Yeah. Other than that, I'm happy. I'm happy with our home. I'm happy with our life. I'm not happy my wife works her rear end off at night, but that money would do us a lot of good, but that's not why I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it because. It would be a lifelong venture of helping others, making the world a better place, which I try to do with the little money that I have anyway, the little that we have anyway. So I'm at the gas station, doo -doo, and I'm going to head on in and buy us a couple of tickets. Okay. I just picked up $15 in lottery tickets, which I never do. For a specific reason, as I stated before. Because if I was going to try and win the lotto, I'd be playing it every week. And you'll never win it. <laughs> anyway, there was a guy in there telling me that if you don't buy lottery tickets, you're going to do something else with your money. Like drink beer. I said, well, I don't drink beer either. <laughs> and he said, oh, well, then there's going to be something else. I'm like, really? Like what? I mean, uh, I bought yarn today. I bought sneakers. And if I bought lottery tickets every day, I probably wouldn't be able to afford those things. Philosophy. 
You know how you give away $374 million to one or two people? I'll tell you how you do it. You need a whole bunch of losers. A, a lot of them. A, a huge amount of losers. And that's how you give away $374 billion. And apparently it's supposed to go to North Carolina schools. Well, I don't have kids in schools anymore. Uh, but but what I read about them, uh, I don't know really how much it's improved since the lottery has come to North Carolina. I really don't know how it does any good. But if I win, if I win, it'll do a lot of good. It'll do a whole lot of good. Well, I'm almost home. I'm going to wake my wife. And I bet you when I walk in the house, the smell of that coming out of that crock pot is going to be amazing. I, I, as long as the dogs haven't gotten to it. Dreary, dreary, dreary day. And everything's still a little wet, but I am home. Now I gotta carry all my bags. And it's not like my door is my front it's not like my front door is right here so mm -hmm.